Hello everyone. I want to introduce a very new IT management model called uh, Bring Your Own Device to You. Also, I want to talk about uh, how to perform a successful cybersecurity management in a mobile computing environment. In the future, when I mention Bring Your Own Device, I will use a short term BYOD to represent this concept. In today's lecture, I will first talk about what BYOD is. Then I want to talk about the benefits of using BYOD. In other words, why BYOD is so popular in the business world. Next, I want to talk about the cybersecurity challenges an IT manager could face when using a BYOD program. Also, I want to talk about uh, what kind of uh, technical countermeasures the IT manager can take when the organization information security is facing threats. Lastly, I want to talk about uh, the importance of employees' security awareness and policy compliance in a successful cybersecurity management. Let's talk about uh, how to control the human factors when using the BYOD program. Bring your own device refers to a new IT management model. In this model, companies give authorizations to their employees so that the employees can use their personal devices to access, process, and store work-related data. This new IT management model has seen a great deal of popularity in recent years in the business world. More than half of the companies in North America and Europe either have adopted or plan to develop their own BYOD programs. Currently, more than 340 mobile devices are part of BYOD programs in the world. The population of BYOD supported workforce is expected to pass 105 million in the US by the year of 2020. The reason BYOD is so popular is that it can bring several benefits to both employees and a company. To employees, if they join in a BYOD program, they can use their personal mobile devices to access to work-related data anytime anywhere. The increased flexibility in data processing can increase an employee's work productivity. A study from IBM showed that a BYOD program can increase an employee's effective working time by 40 to 60 minutes every week. A BYOD program can bring several benefits to a company as well. Because BYOD is a new model, if a company can implement such a program, the company can establish an innovative corporate image in front of its customers and employees. A BYOD program can also save cost for a company. Because employees will bring their personal devices, the company doesn't need to spend extra money on buying devices anymore. A study from Cisco showed that a comprehensive BYOD program can save a company's IT investment up to $1,300 per mobile user every year. When a company enjoys the benefits from BYOD, an IT manager should also realize the security challenges from such a program. Employees can get data management flexibility on their personal device but what if an employee loses an unprotected mobile device? What if the employee unintentionally leaks data, work-related data, when using personal apps? What if a hacker initiates a man-in-the-middle attack on an employee's personal device? How to encrypt the data transmission between the employee's personal data and the organizational server? What if the IT manager has a jailbreaking employee in a BYOD program? 
These are all the security challenges that BYOD brings to a company. I believe some classmates may be familiar to some of the security challenges, such as viruses, data leaks, and so on. But there are some new challenges raised by BYOD. For instance, the man in the middle attack, jailbreaking employee, and so on. Let's talk about these new challenges one by one. First, man in the middle attack. When initiating this attack, a hacker would exist in the data communications between a user's personal mobile devices and a company's server. The hacker can intercept and eavesdrop all data communications between the two legitimate parties. In other words, the information is secretly monitored by the hacker. A very popular practice of man-in-the-middle attack is a hacker would offer free Wi-Fi to the public. If a person without security knowledge finds the free signal, he would think the Wi-Fi is free and safe. If he uses the signal to connect to his company's server, he would fall victim to the man-in-the-middle attack because every information he sees will be received by the hacker first. Another security issue is called uh, jailbreaking. In some cases, companies would enforce employees to use a particular customized operating system on their personal mobile devices if they want to join in the company's BYOD program. These customized uh, operating systems can be useful to protect corporate information security, but may not be convenient to the employees. So the employees would violate the corporate security policies and change the operating system. This process is called jailbreaking. When employees break the integrity of the customized operating system, they would lose the protection from the systems they would likely fall victims to external attacks. We are facing so many issues, so many security challenges. What should we do if we want to implement a BYOD program in our organization? A very popular practice is to use the mobile device management or MDM system in a BYOD program. This slide shows you a conceptual model of how an MDM system works. Before a user is able to access to a corporate web server, his request will go through the mobile device management system first. The system only allows devices that comply with corporate security policies go through the security check and access to the internal data. By doing so, the company can prevent external attacks from malicious users. If you are an IT manager and want to implement the MDM system in your BYOD program, you can purchase the MDM system from third-party vendors. Currently, Airwords from VMware, Intune from Microsoft are all popular MDM system. For interested classmates, I listed uh, a link of a popular MDM system in eCollege. You can take a look at uh, what is popular in the industry. Using technical protection is important, but when you manage a BYOD program, don't forget the importance of your employees, the human factor of a BYOD program. According to a survey, more than 70% of cybersecurity attacks are actually initiated by employees because employees have a lot of knowledge about the organizational structure, the security weakness of a company's IT infrastructure. They can easily design and carry out a cyber attack to the company's sensitive data and IT assets. So increasing the employee's security awareness and security policy compliance is important to 
a cybersecurity management in a BYOD program as well. There are several rules of thumb when you manage employees in a BYOD program. For instance, you can provide cybersecurity trainings to new employees. You can periodically announce cyber threat information to the employees in order to raise their awareness of potential attacks. You can also inform employees the section regulations if they fail to comply with security policies. These are all effective approaches to increase the employee's security awareness and compliance in a BYOD program.